Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome. Welcome to another video. Bienvenidos a un video nuevo. ¿Cómo están? How are you? And um, hello, Ken. Welcome. <laughs> I see that you're already here. That's great. That's awesome. So today we are going to do a crossword puzzle about house vocabulary, Spanish house vocabulary. It's going to be random, so uh, it's going to be very good. It's going to be really interesting. And well, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and also click on the bell icon <clears throat> so you can get notified every time I upload a new video or rather I live stream, I always forget, but I live stream mostly. Um, also visit smlessons.com for more free Spanish lessons and to download this crossword puzzle. There are so many more and they're all for free. So you can download them on smlessons.com slash games. And also there's a link in the video description down below Hello, Brianna Lee. Welcome. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Bienvenida. <laughs> it's nice to see you here. Oral Care. Hola, profesora. Estoy aquí. Hola, Oral Care. Welcome. Bienvenido. And uh, thank you for being here. <laughs> That's very awesome. Uh, also, I want to give a big shout out to... K. Beck and Stella Sabatini. They're Cafecito members. Thank you so much for the support, guys. Thank you so much for the coffee. It's greatly appreciated. Um, that's, that's awesome. Thank you so much. If you're interested in supporting this channel, you can get a membership on this channel. You only need to click on the join button down below that um, if you take a look at the memberships there are different perks as well when getting one and um, well that helps this channel a lot also please give this video a like that's another way to help this channel for sure <laughs> okay once again thank you Quebec and Stella Sabatini okay so are you guys ready to play <laughs> I'm really excited about this crossword because it's really random, but we're talking about things that you can find in your home, okay? Or parts of your home. Okay, so let me tell you that this is the first crossword puzzle of the month. So we keep score right now for this crossword puzzle and also overall, for the whole month. If you, you, if you are the winner most of the times during this month, you get a chance to participate, to join us on our podcast for one episode and you can give your opinion on the topic that we're going to talk about in that episode. So that's something that is very, very cool. Okay, so let's get started. Ken says, yes, I'm glad you're ready, Ken. Let's do this. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to choose the first number and I think I'm gonna go with, hmm, let's do an easy one. Let's do two down, okay? Dos vertical, two down. Okay, so that word is right here, okay? And let's see, I'm gonna read the definition. Most of the things are nouns, okay guys? So don't worry about verbs, adjectives, it's just nouns. Okay, so two down. This is a piece of furniture for sleep or rest. Typically a framework with a mattress and coverings. How do you call this in Spanish? Oh. Sorry, Ken is right. You can't see the crossword. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. Sorry about that, Ken. Thank you for telling me. So here it is. Here's the crossword. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is, yeah, 
this is the crossword puzzle sorry about that once again and we're doing two down or two dos vertical okay um hello marcos barrera hello kbeck hello kbeck it, it's so nice to see you and marcos as well welcome okay so i see some answers already wow guys you are very fast and mm, the first one to answer is or was oral care okay oral care um he says cama 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 so that's correct we are talking about cama cama just one sec i don't know why oh okay i see i see cama cama here it is cama cama means bed okay that means bed and it's a very common spanish word so let's give the point to uh oral care okay oral care care <laughs> okay oral has one point perfect now please oral care please can you let me know the next number Uno vertical. Perfecto. That's great. Okay, so that is... Okay, that's the number. And the word is right here. Okay, so... Uno vertical. One down. That one has five, lever five letters, guys. Okay, so one down. The upper interior surface of a room also the exterior top of a house so this is quite interesting because this word can be used if you're referring to the interior surface of a room usually the upper part of the room and also it refers to the exterior top of a house so that is quite interesting in English, you have two different words, but in Spanish, you can use only one. Okay. Um, Ken says the chat is on slow mode, I guess. Um, I don't see... I don't see it in a slow mode. Um, I'm not sure, Ken, sorry. Okay welcome life of pi and you have the answer we are talking about techo techo so that's very it's a very easy word techo techo means ceiling and also it means roof so that is very very good very interesting so you don't have to to learn two different words just one techo techo means ceiling and roof Okay, so 1.4 Life of Pi. Okay. Good job. Excellent. Okay, so please, Life of Pi, can you let us know the next number, please? Okay, yeah, um, Brianna Lee says, es que hay un ligero retraso, I guess it's the a little lag that the live stream has, uh, that usually happens, but um, I think we're getting all the, all the messages, messages on the chat perfectly fine. Um, sometimes it helps when you refresh the browser. Yeah, I hope that helps. <laughs> 
Ok, so Life of Pi says 7 horizontal. 7 horizontal. Ok, let's see where it is. 7 horizontal. That's 7 across. And the word is right, oops, right here. It's a very short word. It has only four letters. Four letters. Cuatro letras. Seven across. Okay, so the definition is a room in a house for general and informal everyday use. Hmm. How do you call this in Spanish? A room in a house for general and informal everyday use. Usually you have a TV in that room, you have um, furniture like couch or something like that. Okay, Quebec. Mm -hmm. Quebec has the answer. We are talking about sala. Sala. Perfect. Good job, Quebec. Um, that is that room that we're talking about. Sala means living room. Okay? Sala. Living room. And, well, K gets a point. Good job, K. Okay. Okay, that is good. Perfect. Now, please, Kay, can you let us know the next number? Ocho horizontal, por favor. Okay, perfect. Uh, that is right here. Eight across, ocho horizontal. Okay, so let's see where the word is. Ocho horizontal is right here. This word is another, uh, I will say, short-ish word. And the definition is... An enclosed compartment, as in a kitchen range, for cooking and heating food. An enclosed compartment as in a kitchen range for cooking and heating food. So what are we talking about? It's something that looks usually square. <laughs> could be small, could be big. You can put pizza in there. <laughs> okay, great. So, K Beck has the answer. We're talking about horno. Horno. And that's the word right here. Horno means oven. El horno. The oven. Okay? So, that's something that you can find in pretty much every house. So, good job, K Beck. Let's give you another point. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, horno, oven. Let's see. Please, Kay, let us know the next number. ¿Qué otro número te gustaría? Okay, 12 horizontal, 12 horizontal. Uh, that's right here, the number. Let's see where the word is. Um, hmm. Okay, I see it. <laughs> it's right here. Oops. Right here. There it is. And we can see already two different letters. E and A. E and A. So feel free to start guessing if if you want. That's allowed. So let's see. Um, hmm. Okay. The definition is 
a set of steps leading from one floor of a house to another in a house. Well, within the house. <laughs> so pretty much you have a set of steps leading from one floor to another one. Usually, yeah, it could be the top floor, the uh, main floor, even basement. So how do you call that? Marcos. Oh boy. What can we do? Technically, Quebec is correct. Uh, escaleras, that is the term. But Marcos was so close. He only missed one letter. Um, escaleras. So Quebec has the point for sure because that's the correct answer. But what should we do, guys? Should we give a point to Marcos as well? You let me know. Escaleras, okay? Here is the answer. Escaleras. Escaleras. Las escaleras. And that means stairs, okay? The stairs. So that's a very common word in Spanish. Uh, you can use it for every kind of stairs, <laughs> pretty much. So, what should we do? Okay, so I see some answers. Ken says yes. Brianna says yes. Si. Marco says, nah, I was wrong. Ken says he deserves it. And Quebec, si. Okay, let's, let's, let's give a point to Marcos as well. <laughs> Good job, both of you. <laughs> okay, so Mar um, K gets a point. Okay, and Marcos gets one. Perfect. So you're really kind, guys. That's awesome. Okay, so yeah, that's what we have. Oral care one point. Life of Pi one point. Quebec three points. Quebec is leading and Marcos one point. Okay, so please, um, I see Quebec says you pick Marcos. So Marcos, please, can you let us know the next number, please? Okay, three down. Three down. That word is right here. And we can see that the last letter is the letter A or the letter A. And also keep in mind that, that this word has six letters. Six letters, guys. Okay. Three down. Tres or vertical. Tres vertical. Okay, hmm, an apparatus for cooking or heating that operates by burning fuel or using electricity. Okay, so we're talking about um, an apparatus <laughs> for cooking or heating. Uh, so how do you how do you call this in Spanish? Uh, it's a must. Uh, thing to have in a kitchen <laughs> I would say every kitchen has one and um, yeah yeah <laughs> hello Kristen for Forbes go oral oh that's nice that's nice <laughs> okay so Quebec has the answer we're talking about a stufa um, estufa, yes, estufa. So let's see, let's see the answer. Estufa, estufa, la estufa, the stove. Okay, so that's the meaning of this word. And K Beck gets a point. Good job, K. Perfect. Okay, so please, K, let us know the next number. Okay, 
11 vertical, 11 vertical, that's right here, the number, and the word is, oh, it's a very short one, four letters, four letters, 11 down, four letters. By the way, guys, do you have an electric stove or a, I think there is a gas stove as well? Mine is electric and yeah, I think those are better. <laughs> okay, so 11 down, four letters. A long upholstered piece of furniture. I think that's the, the right pronunciation of that word upholstered piece of furniture for several people to sit on. So it's just a piece of furniture for several people to sit on. So how do you call this in Spanish? It has a very similar, by the way, this word has an accent mark, okay? So um, please, you, please try to, yeah, yeah, okay. I see some answers. Okay. So, <laughs> I see that the first person to answer was Ken, uh, but he, he says right after the answer, Ken says A with accent mark. So I understand that sometimes it's difficult to, to type the accent mark. Uh, but that's, that's fine, that is a correct correct answer. And also, Quebec gets a point because she has the right spelling, okay? So, good job, guys, perfect. So I'm going to give a point. Oh, let me just show you the answer first. I'm forgetting the answer. Sofa, sofa. And that means sofa or couch. <laughs> that's what this means and uh, yeah so <laughs> so that is perfect uh, let's give a point to Ken oops Ken one point and Quebec another point excellent look at that we have five people on the score I love it okay so um, either Ken or Quebec, if you can let me know the next number, that would be great. SK, hello SK. SK uh, says, I think Quebec is secretly Spanish, LOL. No, Quebec is from England, from Inglaterra. <laughs> but she really knows Spanish. So that's, that's awesome. Okay. Can says five horizontal, por favor. That is great. Okay. Five um, across. Cinco horizontal. Okay. Let's remove the number. And Quebec says, haha, no, I am English. LOL. Yep. She is. But yeah, she really knows Spanish. That is awesome. Um, okay, so let's see where the word is. Uh, five across. Okay, so that's right here. This word, <laughs> this word has um, six letters. Seis letras. Six letters. The definition is. Okay, just double check in. Mm, a room of a room or area where food is prepared and cooked. So we're talking about another room in the house where food is prepared and cooked. So usually where the stove is, where the oven is, you can find a fridge. You can find, um, I don't know, all, all the necessary things to cook or bake. 
or just prepare food. <laughs> okay, so I see some answers. Um, okay, Kate Beck has the right answer. We are talking about cocina. 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 And that means kitchen, okay? Cocina, la cocina, the kitchen. <laughs> I see Ken said, said uh, puerta. Uh, that was a good guess, Ken. But no, we're talking about cocina, la cocina, the kitchen. So K-Beck gets another point. Good job. Awesome. Okay. Please, Kate, let us know the next number. Mm -hmm. Cuatro vertical. Cuatro vertical. Let's see what that is. That word is, well, four down. Cuatro vertical, and that is right here. Once again, we can see two different letters, and that's A and O. A and O. Okay. And also, this word has six letters. Okay, let's see. The floor of a building which is partly or entirely below ground level. The floor of a building, or in this case, a house, uh, which is partly or entirely below ground level. So how do you call this in Spanish? And usually, I gotta say that um, houses in Latin America don't have this level. <laughs> usually, this is more like uh, in America, you can find that in, in North America, but not in Mexico and also I think in Europe as well. So probably Spaniards have this. Aha! Uh -huh. Perfect grammar, Kay. That's awesome. Yes, we're talking about sótano. Sótano. Okay, let's reveal the answer. Sótano. And this word has an accent mark on top of the letter O. Sótano. And that means basement. El sótano. The basement. The basement. Okay, Ken says, I have quiz tomorrow. Have fun, guys. Have a nice day. Oh, well, it was nice to have you here, Ken. Uh, thank you for participating, for being here. And good luck tomorrow. Good luck tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Bye, Ken. <laughs> okay. So, Oh, I see K Beck says I have a cellar in my house. That's nice. That's nice. Is it cellar where you have wine and something like that? Can you elaborate, K? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna give a point to K because she answered correctly. Um, she was the first one. And yeah, the only one too. Wow, okay. So K gets another point. Uh, she's leading. Uh, she has seven points so far. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Uh, or basement. That's interesting. That's interesting, Kay. Um, I also have a basement. I don't go there often, but yeah, I do have one. <laughs> it's very loud. Um, it's kind of cold, but yeah. <laughs> okay, Kay, please let us know the next number. Do you guys have any basement? Do you like basements? <laughs> oh, Kay says we say cellar in England instead of basement. Oh, okay. Well, that's good to know. 
That's good to know, Kate. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for sharing because I didn't know. I didn't know that. I thought it was a place where people keep wine or something like that. It sounds like something like that. But yeah, that's, that's very interesting. Kristen Forbes says... We say cellar in Jamaica too. Oh, wow. That is another in interesting thing to know. Thank you for sharing, guys. 13 uh, vertical. 13 vertical. 13 vertical. Where is that? Mm -hmm. So this is a long word. It has... Three, six, seven, siete letras. And the first letter is the letter A, the letter A. So Kristen Forbes is guessing. And um, hmm, let's see. Remember that we're talking about things around the house or parts of a house. And I think I don't have... Uh, Uh, an ascensor <laughs> I think some big houses have that Kristen I, I think I'm sure of that um, you know an elevator but uh, yeah I let me just double check okay no that's not the answer but that was a good guess Kristen <laughs> that was a good guess let me find the answer the answer the <laughs> definition 13 down A tall recess or wardrobe with a door used for storage. Okay, so it's a tall wardrobe with a door used for storage. So this is another common thing in houses. And also it can be something detached or it could be part of the house, I would say. Usually you put in there, uh, you put your clothing in there and uh, yeah, it's, it's something, a very, a very common thing to find in a house. Mm -hmm. I see some answers. So Life of Pi answered first and that's correct. We're talking about Armario, Armario, Armario. Some people call this in Spanish they call this closet closet so <clears throat> I think they that word has an accent mark on top of the letter O closet uh, but yeah this also is called armario armario closet okay so good job life of pie and I'm gonna give you a point perfect Armario, el armario, the closet, okay? Perfect, so Life of Pi, can you please let us know the next number? 15 across, please, okay. 15 acro across, that's uh, 15 horizontal. And the word is right here. It's a long one. It has three, six, seven, eight, nine letters. Nueve letras. Uh, K says we say lift in England instead of elevator. Huh. Wow, that's another thing that I didn't know. That's good to know. Lift, elevator. Hmm. Thank you for sharing, Kay. That's, that's very, very interesting. Okay, so... Um, 15 horizontal, that word has nine letters. And the first letter is F, and the last one is, uh, is O. So if you want to start guessing, <laughs> please be my guest. Um, 15, 15, oh boy, oh boy. I see, yeah, I see some somebody guessing. And that's correct. That's correct. Chris, Kristen Forbes. That's correct. We are talking, or we're not talking yet about it, but yeah, that's correct. Fregadero. Fregadero. Okay. And this is 
this means kitchen sink okay usually this is um, if you want to refer to a kitchen sink you can call it fregadero fregadero perfect so Kristen Kristen gets the point awesome okay so let's give her a point um, okay so Kristen gets a point uh, that's correct fregadero means kitchen sink so good job Kristen can you please let us know the next number we only have four more words guys We have 10 across, six and six, nine and 14 down. Uh -huh. Kristen, where are you? <laughs> it's very interesting because fregadero is the kitchen sink, but then you go if you want to refer to the sink in in the washroom or bathroom you call it lavadero or lavabo lavabo i think that's yeah that, that's a, a more common one lavabo so that's very very peculiar for sure uh kristen we're waiting <laughs> okay thank you kristen uh, four, 14 uh, 14 vertical 14 vertical good job I like it that you you guys are saying the numbers or what you the numbers in Spanish I mean not the numbers per se but you know you say 14 vertical 15 horizontal and so on so that's that's very very good thank you guys Okay, so 14 down, 14 vertical. That one is right here. Okay, so this is another long one. Uh, three, six, seven, eight. Eight letter, guys, eight letters. And um, the first one, the first letter is A. And then we can see one in the middle, and that's the letter O. Okay, I see Life of Pi is trying to guess. Good job. I mean, just let me double check. Life of Pi says almohada. Almohada, that means pillow. In you know, almohada means pillow. And um, that's a good guess, but that's unfortunately that's not the word it's a very good guess though yeah um let's read the definition let's see what this word is about okay so a floor or stair covering made from thick woven fabric typically shaped to fit a particular room so we're talking about some thick fabric uh, fluffy sometimes and typically shaped to fit a particular room you can put this on any floor or stair mm -hmm. yes okay <laughs> she has the answer we are talking about alfombra 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 and that means carpet okay so that's a very straightforward word Car carpet um, alfombra although i gotta say that many houses in latin america don't have any carpet that's uh that's something that you don't see often <laughs> you just see like more like tiles sometimes and uh, yeah, carpets are, are not a thing. 
you know, having carpet uh, in the house. So that's interesting though. Some people do have carpet, but that's, that's good to know. Alfombra, alfombra carpet. And Kay gets a point. Mm hmm Kay is killing it. Wow. Okay. Please, Kay, let us know the next number. Diez horizontal. Diez horizontal. That's right here. The number. And the word is over here. And the last letter is A. This word has... Uh, tres, seis, siete, ocho. Ocho letras. Eight letters. And if, if you want to start guessing, that's fine. Remember that you can do that. Let's see what this word is about. Okay. An enclosure in which a person stands under a spray of water to wash. <laughs> An enclosure in which a person stands under a spray of water to wash. Kristen Forbes says escalera, escalera, no Sadly, that's not the answer. Um, this is this is this is in the washroom, guys. In the in a bathroom, okay. Um, and <clears throat> usually, well, it's you go in there and you get sprayed. <laughs> you know, like you get a lot of water on you and. It's usually used to just clean yourself, you know? You need that, you need that. Some some people have more like a, more like a bathtub, but uh, we're not talking about that. We're talking about something where you have to stand up and you have to <laughs> be under a spray of water. <laughs> Okay, Life of Pi says regadera, and that is correct. That is correct. We are talking about regadera. 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 And that means shower. Okay, so that, that means shower. It's a, a very um, easy word, although I think it's a very long one. But yeah, regadera means shower. Perfect. So Life of Pi gets a point. Okay. Let's see here. Life of Pi has three points total. Oral Care 1, Quebec 8, Marcos 1, Ken 1, Kristen 1. Perfect. Good job, guys. Good job. Now, Life of Pi, we only have two numbers. Uh, we have the number six and the number nine. And uh, well, Life of Pi is saying nine down. Okay. It's right here and the word is over here. Let's see. The second letter is the letter A, and this word has six letters, six letters. And we're almost done, guys. We're almost done. The definition is a small piece of ground used to grow vegetables, fruit, herbs, or flowers. So it's just a small piece of ground. This is outside of the house, by the way used to grow vegetables fruit herbs or flowers some people just have grass some people don't even have that <laughs> but it's very common that you can see fruit uh, not fruit but i will say mostly flowers yeah whoa perfect 
Hello, Moto Griso One. Welcome. <laughs> K Beck was the one who answered first, and that's correct. We are talking about Jardin. Jardin. El Jardin. And perfect grammar. Both of you, uh, K and Moto Griso One. Perfect grammar. And um, yeah, because Jardin has an accent mark on top of the letter. I and that means garden so el jardín the garden okay do you do you guys have a garden I don't I wish I have I had one but I don't sadly do you grow any vegetables or fruit flowers herbs <laughs> that, would, that would be nice to know please share okay K gets a point good job K um so sadly there's only one number left number six down and that word is right here we can see this word has a letter a and a letter o um and it has seven letters siete letras okay The definition is an area in a house onto which rooms open or a cor corridor. So how do you call an area? It's a very narrow area in a house onto which rooms open. Okay, so you have access to different rooms through this. And uh, how do you call this in Spanish? You can find this in different kinds of buildings as well. <clears throat> and it helps you to access to different rooms within the house. So a very narrow, well, it could be not that narrow, but usually it's narrow <laughs> and it's long. <laughs> yeah, Quebec has the answer. We're talking about pasillo, pasillo. Pasillo. <laughs> so, uh, pasillo means, do you know what this means? Hallway. Yes, Moto Griso One says hallway. Pasillo means hallway. El pasillo, the hallway. And uh, that's it. Let me just give a point to Quebec. The last, the last point. Wow, she got 10 points, 10 points, guys. And uh, this, well, she's obviously the first place. And uh, then Life of Pi, three points. And then Oral, Kerr, Marcos, Ken, and Kristen got one point. And well, we know who the winner is. The winner of today's you know crossword is k back k back congratulations k back you won you are the winner and um you my friend you my friend know spanish and i even have a, a different song for you here um let me see where is it <laughs> <laughs> it's right here you are the winner k Beck. thank you so much for playing you know spanish you guessed 10 words first you guessed like pretty much all the words but you were the first to answer 10 different spanish words related to a house <laughs> you know so there are things that you can find in your house or parts of your house and well thank you so much you are the winner of today's crossword puzzle and uh, you you my friend you know spanish i think you know this already you really know spanish and i'm going to add your name to the monthly sc score that we have here uh remember the people the person who 
is the winner the most times in this month gets uh, a chance to participate to to join us on our podcast for one episode and just give an opinion about the topic that we're gonna have in that episode okay so okay back just let me add your name here okay back oops okay back has one once and I'm just going to make this bigger just like that and yeah you are the winner you so far you are the uh, this month's winner and uh, that's amazing that's amazing thank you for being here uh, you can send me more comments right now guys uh, let's just um, chat a little if you want so okay Beck says Muchas gracias. Gracias por tus lecciones. Thank you, Quebec, uh, because you also support this channel. You are a Cafecito member, and that helps a lot. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And I appreciate all of you guys that you are here participating, that you're here guessing different words, different Spanish words. And I hope you learned some Spanish as well, and or just practice your Spanish like that is that is amazing so do you have any questions about what we talked about today would you like to share anything else Okay, well, tomorrow we are going to have a lesson, by the way, guys, so stay tuned. We are going to, um, hmm. we're going to learn some vocabulary, I believe so. So tomorrow we have a lesson and please stay tuned. Um, we're going to talk about some adverbs, okay, adverbs of manner. I don't know if you have heard about that, but... Uh, it's gonna be interesting uh, we're gonna go over several well some some adverbs and obviously they're very common very useful to learn and well that's it for today remember to subscribe and click on the bell icon so you can get notified every time I live stream also um, you can visit smlessons.com for more free Spanish lessons. You can download this crossword puzzle for free. You only have to go to smlessons.com slash games. All the links are in the video description down below. Quebec asks, ¿A qué hora es la lección? Mm, hmm, that's a good question. I think I'll have that around 5... 5 p.m. Eastern time, so it's almost the same time as today's crossword. So yeah, it's yeah, it's gonna be around that time. Uh, so stay tuned, and yeah, around 5 p.m. Eastern time. Okay, Kay. <laughs> I know that you have a different time zone, and probably right now it's kind of late. <laughs> so I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, I think 5 p.m. is fine, but if you guys have suggestions about, you know, times and hours and all of that, when would you like me to live stream, um, what time, mostly, you can let me know and we can work something out, <laughs> okay? Uh, Kay Beck says, okay, gracias, you're welcome, Kay. And once again, congratulations, thank you for being here. And you so far are winning. You're winning this month. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great night. Oh, wow. 11 p.m. Aquí. Wow, it's quite quite late. Quite late. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy how it's so late over there. But yeah, I mean, that's how the world works, right? So you guys let me know if you want me to live stream earlier you know or later uh, just let me know I, I'm 
I'm open. I'm open. <laughs> so you, you guys let me know. You can leave a comment down below. You can let me know right now. That's totally fine. And well, give this video a like if you like this video. And remember that you can get memberships on this channel that supports this channel a lot. If you're interested in getting one, just click in on the button, on the join button down below. You can get different perks when getting a membership. So please take a look. Just take a few minutes and, and just take a look. It's a win-win situation. You're helping the channel and then uh, you get some perks, okay? So Oral Care says, muchas gracias, prof professors. You're welcome, Oral Care. Thank you for being here. All of you guys, thank you for being here. And yeah, good night. Buenas noches, like Capex says. Buenas noches a todos. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye.